Hi there, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great today. This is Teacher Ness again of Campish.com and I will be your teacher in developing your English abilities, especially in your grammar and pronunciation parties, with the help of this book, Engage Level 2. So let's continue exploring our book now. So we're going to have a review in our lesson 2. Okay, so did you still remember what do we have in have to? Okay, so all you have to do is to complete the sentences with have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. Okay, so for example, this one, I'm a student, I have to study, but I don't have to teach. Okay, very good. So this one. Number two, let's try this. They're actors. They blank learn lines, but they blank write movies. Okay, so what's the answer? Very good. So they're actors. They have to learn lines, but they don't have to write movies. Very good. What about in number three? She's a flight attendant. She blank fly a plane. She blank speak a foreign language. So what's the answer? Very good. So she's a flight attendant. She has to fly a plane. She doesn't have to speak a foreign language. Okay, very good. What about number four? He's a mechanic. He blank work in the office. He blank fix cars. So what's the answer? Very good. So he's a mechanic. He has to work in the office and he doesn't have to fix cars. What about in number five? We're runners. We blank train every day. We blank use a computer. So what's the answer? Very good. So we're runners. We have to train every day. We don't have to use a computer. What about number six? You're a doctor. You blank work with people, but you blank work with animals. So what's the answer? Very good. So you're a doctor. You have to work with people, but you don't have to work with animals. Okay, so did you understand all? Great. So let's proceed now with our reading. So the title is The Elixir of Love. Okay, very good. So before we're gonna um, read our story, okay, what does it mean when we say elixir? Great, so that was a magical liquid that can cure illness or extend life, right? What about love? I know you know that. Great, so it is a feeling or a strong feeling or a constant affection for a person. Okay, great. So let's start reading our story now. So... Nemorino is in love with Adina. He wants to marry her, but he is in love with another man named Belcar. A man in a town others Nemorino a love potion with magical powers. Nemorino decides to buy a potion and gives it to Adina. But the potion is really wine and it doesn't work. Nemorino is unhappy. He decides to join the army. He wants to earn some money and buy some more love potion. While he is in the army, Nemorino's uncle dies and leaves a fortune for him. Nemorino doesn't know he's rich now, but the town girls know. When he comes back to the town, 
all the girls are interested in him because they know he has money. The Marino is happy. He thinks the love potion is finally working. Okay, so did you like the story? Great. Okay, so now let's answer this one. So all you have to do is encircle if it's true and F if it's false. Okay? So for example, number one, Nimorino loves Ajina. So that was true. Okay. So Adina doesn't love Belcor. So what's the answer? False, right? So Adina loves Belcor. What about number three? The Marino buys wine from a man in a town. So what's the answer? Yeah, that was true, right? So he bought the wine for a love potion. Okay, what about number four? The Marino joins the army to get more money. So what's the answer? Great, so that was true. Okay, because he thinks that Yeah, the love potion is not working. Okay, what about number five? He gets a lot of money when his uncle dies. So what's the answer? So it was true. Very good. So his uncle gives all the fortune to Nimorino. Okay, what about number six? The girls like Nimorino because of the potion. So what's the answer? False, right? So because of the money. Because they know that Nimorino has a lot of money. Okay, very good. So did you enjoy our lesson for today? Great. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed a lot. See you again next time. Bye.